Hello, and this is the help video for the Brackets Online exercise, levels 6, 7 and 8. And here we have um, questions, expressions that have got two brackets, two pairs of brackets, that are being multiplied together. There's no sign between them, so we assume that there is a times or a multiplication sign there. That's the sort of the standard way algebra expresses these things. And everything in the first bracket has to multiply everything in the second bracket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw red lines to show which terms, which pairs of terms are multiplied together. So there's the first term in both brackets which are multiplied together. Then the first term of the first bracket and the second term of the second bracket. And then the 3 and the a are multiplied together. And then the 3 and the 4 are multiplied together. Now if you have a really good imagination and you can imagine those two brackets as a pair of eyes, then that looks a little bit like a clown's face. Well, that's what I've always thought anyway. We've got two eyes, a nose, a mouth, and we've got a left eyebrow and a right eyebrow. If that helps you remember it, fair enough. <laughs> you can uh, remember that as I do. So, let's go and multiply along the left eyebrow first. An A multiplied by an A is A squared. Then I like to do the nose next, but of course you could do them in any order. 3A and then we'll do the mouth, the 4 multiplied by the A, which gives us 4A. And then finally, the right eyebrow, multiplying the 3 by the 4, and that will give us a 12. The next thing we have to do is to collect together like terms. So the 3a and the 4a are what we call like terms, but the a squared is quite different and so is the 12. So just combine the 3a and the 4a. So all together we've got a squared plus 7a plus 12. And that is what you type in for your answer using the little button help you to type in that squared sign there. Okay then, so let's look at another example similar to that one. Here we have two brackets multiplied together, two pairs of brackets multiplied together I should say, and let's draw in the left eyebrow, the right eyebrow, the nose and the mouth. And that'll remind us of all the multiplications we have to do. So first of all, we'll do the left eyebrow, and that gives us b squared. The nose gives us 7b. Not forgetting that minus sign there, the mouth gives us minus 10b. And the right eyebrow, a plus 7 times a negative 10, will give us negative 70. So all together, when we collect together the like terms, we have b squared, minus 3b minus 70. And that's the answer that you would type in. Getting the hang of this now? It's all to do with that clown's face. So here's another one. The first thing we're going to do is to draw the eyebrows, the nose, and the mouth. And then do the multiplications along each of the red lines. 4c times 5c is 20c squared. Minus 3 times 5c is minus 15c. And then along the math, 10 times 4c is 40c. And finally, the right eyebrow, negative 3 times positive 10 is negative 30. Collecting like terms, we still get our 20c squared, and then 40c there, take away 15c there, that will leave us, leave us with 25c, and then that negative 30 at the end. And that is the answer. So this is called 
expanding brackets and it's a way of writing down the expression without using any brackets. So here's another example, a familiar start and you know by now it's left eyebrow, right eyebrow, nose, mouth. And then start the multiplications, the left eyebrow, m times 8m is 8m squared. The nose, minus 7 times 8m is minus 56m. The mouth is minus 5m. And then the right eyebrow, minus 7 multiplied by minus 5 is positive 35. Collect together the like terms and that leaves us with 8m squared minus 61m plus 35 and that's the answer. Easy, isn't it? Okay, well what if you've got a question in this form? We have 8 minus 5m all squared. Well, we haven't seen anything like this before, but as you know, squared means multiplying a term by itself. So we're multiplying the 8 minus 5m by itself, 8 minus 5m. And now it's in that form, it looks a bit fam more familiar. It looks like the two clowns' eyes. We can draw on the clown's face and then straight away go into the multiplication. 8, 8, so 64, and then minus 40m, multiplying along the nose. And then the mouth will give us negative 40m. And finally, the right eyebrow, minus 5m times minus 5m, is plus 25m squared. So now let's collect together the like terms and we've got two lots of 40m, so that's a negative 80m plus 25m squared. You can find Transum Mathematics at www.transum.org where you're welcome to use all of the activities absolutely free or jump in with both feet and become a Transom subscriber.